Hi all, the British Chess Championship is on this week. I think they've shortened the format to be just within a week now, seven days. This game is Nicholas Parts, Grandmaster Nicholas Parts, 2558 uh, against Daniel Gallagher, 2147. In the early rounds of a Swiss tournament, uh, you sometimes get big rating mismatches. Let's see what happened. D4 from Nicholas Part, Knight F6, Knight F3. And Black is uh, playing dynamically here, C5. After d5, e6, c4. This is the Blumenfeld gambit now, b5. Very aggressive against the Grandmaster. And uh, here are actually the most common moves are bishop g5 or d takes e6. Interestingly, white played his own sort of gambit. The third most popular is only 37 games. He played e4. So what's going on here? What's the idea of e4? Is this to take the opponent by surprise? Was this prepared? Black actually took this. Is this an anti Blumenfeld gambit line? Bishop d3, knight f6. It seems white has a certain amount of development now. That knight moving multiple times. Black played bishop e7 here. White castled. And now we have e takes d5. If black just castles here, I think white's okay with, for example, this. I can even play this, knight takes d5, for example, like this. Yeah, it's where this rook is also kind of a problem. So it's pretty tactical, the position already. We have e takes d5, c takes, and now b4. Now you might think the knight would move, but guess what white plays in this position, if I give you five seconds, starting from now. Okay, the knight didn't move. If knight e4, black could actually just take and maybe have a good game after d6. No, instead, we have the move d6, quite disruptive. Now, black took this. If he takes on c3, this is quite nasty, rookie one. And you might think, well, hold on. Black doesn't have to castle to allow this. Surely black in this position just plays this. The problem is, White then can play knight e5, and we have the same sort of thing occurring. Uh, so, yeah, this is very dangerous for black, this position. And it's to be avoided. This this kind of position is to be avoided. White is a lot better. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, after d6, bishop takes d6. Now, bishop e4, looking at that rook on a8, and also this bishop so both of these pieces are attacked knight takes knight takes bishop e7 now knight d6 check it looks far too dangerous to allow queen on d6 here but for a moment let's check that just in case you're, you're wondering uh, for example if queen e7 uh, there's rookie one yeah the knight's holding for rookie one there it's it's a nightmare uh, if the knight c6, this this looks like a total nightmare as well. Even if we get this position with f6, takes, and the same sort of thing again, rook e1. Okay, so uh, very dangerous. So black plays king f8. And now a remarkably crushing tactical move is played in this position. I wonder if you can guess it if I give you five seconds starting from now, white play. Okay, bishop g5. A lot of pressure here. And the point is, queen d5 hitting f7, threatening mate, that's the primary threat. Black parries that. And the game ended here. Black actually played this and resigned. Perhaps seeing that actually white can do better than taking the rook in this position, white can do a lot better it seems, than taking the rook. Uh, yeah, this is, although it's good for white, white has rook a e1, threatening mate. And for example, g6, check, taking here, and now just knight takes g5, actually and both knights are protecting each other indirectly. 
because uh, if it takes, we just take, well, we can take with the queen there anyway, but both knights are also protecting each other. And say queen e7, that means we can just take the rook and both knights are indirectly guarding each other. You know, if it takes here, we take check and vice versa. Uh, if this is the case, black is totally busted. The wall black is busted here, king g7. Like, this position is miserable for black. More than miserable. So yeah, uh, so the game ended on queen f6. One of the more crushing games in the British Championship. Showing uh, an antidote. An interesting system perhaps is demonstrated here against that Blumenfield gambit. Blimey, <laughs> is all I can say. What about you? Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciate it. Thanks very much.